Hello. In this video, we're going to continue to explore that wonderful modifier called, a st called static, and we're going to look specifically at what are called static or class methods. So to, to help illustrate what a static or class method does and the benefit it is for us, is I'm going to actually modify our static field. So if you haven't seen the static field video, I do suggest you go through it, but if you haven't, the static field for our class patient is called num patients. And the reason why it's a static field is because the num patients field should be the same for every instance. So by making it static, that means if we change it for one instance, it changes for all instances. So if I go back to patient runner here, and I type in, for example, p3.setNum patients to 99, and I run this, what I'll notice is that the total patients changes for all instances. That's great. And then I could also do after that P2 set num patients to 199. And I run this. And I get 199 as that total patients field for all instances. So here's my question for you. Do I need the implied object here? Does it matter which one I use? And the answer here is no, because since a static field has the same value for any instance, that means it doesn't matter if I use P1, P2, P3, because of the fact that when I change it for any instance, it changes it for all instances. So what that means is that if we go back to patient, and let's jump down to our method here, set num patients. Since we're modifying a static field and it changes for all instances, this is a case where we would actually make this method static. So we have public static void set num patients. And if we jump into here, back to patient runner, and we execute this, you'll notice it's had no effect. So here's the nice thing now. If this method is static, when I invoke the method, instead of using an instance, I am going to use the class name. And this does a couple things for us. One, the first thing it does that's nice is it communicates to anyone else using your code that set num patients is a static method. It's modifying a static field associated with that class. It might not be modifying any field, that is a possibility, but in our case it's actually modifying a static field. The second thing it does is by changing the method set num patients to static is that again allows Java to deal with some memory management issues and save memory, making the program more efficient in that perspective. For the sake of our course, we don't care about that. That's getting into some technicalities that are very interesting, but not immediately relevant. So if we take this, I'm just going to paste this in the right spot here. So just to sum up here, by making a, this method static, no implicit object is needed. If we try to access the non-static field of an implied object, we will get an error, though. So if I try and do something like this, if we pay, page up to the top, we see we have a field called name. If I try here to say name equals Paul, I get an error. And so if I hover over this error message here, I see it cannot make a static reference to the non-static field. So the problem here is I'm trying to change some instance variable or instance field, but if I look at how this method is called, I see that there's no instance associated with the call, so that is problematic from the computer's perspective. One other place where you've seen a great deal of static methods is the math class. So I'm going to take a second and pull up the documentation online. So here's the math class, which we're all familiar with. And what I notice right away is that all of the methods here are static. So what I know now is that I never actually have to create an instance of a math object in order to access these methods. So just to sum up here in closing, if I can minimize this, there it goes. So just to sum up in closing, 
Static fields are fields that are the same for every instance. So if you change it for one instance, it changes for every instance. We decide if a field is static when we ask ourselves the question, does every instance have the same value for this field? Static methods are methods that are used that don't require an instance for the actual process that it does. We often use static methods to modify static fields. I hope this video helped.